Hello everyone, Interact, back again with some more Dead Cells. Foundry update is out. Balance Blade, and I think we'll take the Spiked Shield. Oh. That is a shield, not a bow. Correct. Where's the button? Hello? Guess I am looking for the button. I'm gonna kind of, kind of try and speed through these. Um, so we're still trying to unlock new stuff. I think we're probably going to go the same path that we did last time. Try and get that prolonged healing and probably not shake the present this time. Or not break the present, excuse me. Um, because, you know, I don't really want to die again. I don't really, like... I don't think I need anything from the first floor shop. First floor shop kind of feel like, I understand why it exists, but it's kind of like, what are you going to have in here that I'm really going to want, you know? I guess if I'm looking for, I guess it makes more sense with the foundry update, because the foundry update, you can like upgrade certain weapons. Apologies for the dog. You upgrade certain weapons. Let me, let me go close my door and quiet this dog. Hold on. Sorry about the random seconds of dead air. Ugh, the dog doesn't know what's good for him. So as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? I have no idea. Um, you can upgrade certain weapons, so like I could, I think, if I remember how it works, from reading patch notes and stuff, not actually playing the, through the update myself, like you can upgrade, like say the balanced blade, the weapon that I have equipped right now, and it would do, I, I think more damage, or have more affixes or something along those lines. Basically, it would be better in the future. I think we're just gonna kind of keep our build kind of diverse at the moment. Because we don't know what mutations we're going to take. Or what weapons we're going to end up with. And I think that you only unlock that the foundry stuff after you've gotten all the blueprints. So it gives you a way to spend your cells. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, I could be completely wrong. Uh, I don't really know. Did we miss anything here? We missed a treasure chest, so we should go back for that. Come on, get up there. I mean, so far from what little I've actually seen of the new update, it feels good. Um, but then again, like, new content always feels good in games like this. Because things can get a little stale after a while, you know. The last few episodes before Christmas, which I hope everyone had a good Christmas, by the way. Um, I was just kind of looking for blueprints and kind of waiting for the update to come out. And considering going to the Alpha or Beta branch to be able to check out the new stuff. Impaler? I don't really like the Impaler. Um, but now that there's new content out, I don't have to do any of that. Thankfully. And actually, I think right here we're gonna probably just speed our way through. I don't know that there's... Yeah, okay. There's the entrance. There's not gonna be another scroll, because you only get two scrolls on the first floor. So let's see what our mutations look like today. And hope that they are something good. Uh, I forgot in the last episode to actually say anything about Christmas, but I hope you had a Merry Christmas, or Hanukkah, or whatever you may celebrate. Um... So, oh, we're so close to unlocking the ice crossbow. Alright, what you got for me? These are actually the same exact ones that I had last time. Um, I'm slightly confused now. What if I reset my mutation? That's locked. Okay, so... I'm, I'm confused. Is it always these? I thought that it was something different every time. Um, apparently I'm entirely wrong. Maybe you can, like, unlock new mutations by doing thing- that freaking dog, man.
I, I don't know if you unlock new mutations or what. Uh, maybe it's always the same thing. And they just... That seemed kind of weird, though, that they would just... Like, because that's what the scrolls were, and then they just took that out of the scrolls and put it into a... It's, it's an odd thing. Uh... I don't know. That that seems like a weird choice to do it like that. But whatever. I guess. Oh goodness, he's up here. I'm going to take so much damage right here because of that freaking training dummy. Well, I've not actually learned the real name of it. It very well might be Training Dummy. I don't know if there's like a bestiary anywhere in the game. Um, I guess I'll take Brutality since I have the mutation for it. There's a little thing in the wall here. Could have been a scroll, so I figured I might as well check. There's a secret here for the key, but I've already unlocked the thing, so... I don't really know what the point- maybe it has gold or something? I'm not sure why I would need these keys anymore. Considering that I already have them. Is this just another key? That's kind of what I'm thinking it's going to be. There's also these boss cell doors, which I didn't manage to unlock a boss cell because I was stupid and... Decided, you know what would be a great idea? to, uh... Ooh, heavy turret with fighters is what I'm looking for. It'll be a great idea to shake the present that I was told not to shake. And that I knew not to shake. So let's see what's up here. It is just money. So, I mean, you know, I'm gonna use the gardener's key because, sure. I guess that's a way to get money, but at the same time... You know, you only have a certain amount of gold that persists with you throughout every run, so what's the point? Um, let's grab a... Let's grab this for the extra HP, I think. Basically. It's the only reason I'm picking up a point in tactics. Is there another... Cripe? Ooh, buddy! There is. In fact, another one of those stupid training dummies. I think here I'm just going to grab Brutality, though. Whoa. To maximize the um, usage of the... Whatchamacallit? The... Mutation. That's, what I, that's the word I'm looking for. Mutation. So I'm hoping there's something other than just the... Uh, key down here. There's a shop. Okay. Um, I would like probably a melee weapon. None of these seem all that great. Refresh me. Ooh, another balance blade, but refresh me? There's my boy War Spear. Extra damage when you're at maximum? Hmm. I'll take it. You know, you know my love for War Spear. If you've watched me play this game before, you know that War Spear is is my my boy, and I'm I'm ride or die for War Spear. You know. Probably should have used the ice grenade on that guy. My goodness, you're so hard. Alright. Thank you, Grenadier. I don't even know why I bothered. I knew it was gonna be up there. And I think those gold things break in one hit automatically now. Wow, what an enemy to spawn down here for me to fight. Blood Shield freezes enemies when you parry. Sold.
So it may just slow them, it might not actually freeze them solid, I'm not sure. This place has a lot of elevators now. It feels like. Is this just the entrance to prison depths? It is, okay. Let us continue onwards. Yes, I am back. And give me a nice crossbow. And then probably I'm thinking... Explosive crossbow, since it seems to scale with... Uh, survival, I'm trying to remember what that thing is called. So let's look at what... So it says a rapid shot freezes enemies, a long fire increases... Okay, so you can hold it down or you can just... So you can shoot it one at a time normally, or you can hold it down and it kind of shotguns. And it's a pure purple weapon. That seems pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'll take probably survival because I have the thing that increases my damage if I'm at full HP. And that will help me maintain full HP longer, hopefully. We could have just gone straight to the ossuary, um, but I think I want to get stacked because I'm trying... Every run that I have, I am in fact... Yeah. I am in fact trying to get to the assassin again. Because I need her boss cell. I love that you dropped me a random scroll. Let's start taking more points in survival. Yeah, it looks like it just slows them down, it doesn't freeze them solid. Spinner. I forgot they always come back. Okay. Uh, every step you take, every, with every move you make. Anyways, not gonna start that again. I don't know if I actually did start it to begin with, but I'm not. I'm going to stop it before it begins. Wow, what a neat little secret room here. Uh, I like Dagger the Statistic Cult, but I'll take a pass on that one. What we got? Oh, shoot. Where is the baby boy? If I parry one of them, they're pretty much all dead because of the blood and the fire. Oh my goodness. Where even is this vape guy? I think he was below them? What a pain. Uh, I... what do I want here? Maybe another weapon? It's actually kind of a tough call. I think I'll try a shield and see if we can find a better shield. I'll reroll it once. Fires an arrow, poisons enemies when you parry. Any poison synergies? None at the moment. Give it another reroll. Okay, force shield with a minus damage taken is basically my ideal of a shield, so I will take that. And we're gonna teleport because walking would probably get us killed, for being honest here. Because there's this gosh darn vapey boy over here. Oh boy. Spawner, get out. They're attacking my turret, which can actually tank hits. Look at that. I'm so proud of you, turret. Whoop. So you're all, all grown up. Able to actually fight things on your own without just dying in a single hit. Let's see what's down here first. Ooh. A bunch of cells for a bunch of money. Uh, wow. So, I, I did something stupid there. Uh, I learned that you can parry that attack, and I was attempting to do it, um, because I'm an idiot. And I probably shouldn't have done that, but hey, I was like, wow, this neat thing that I just found out, let me try it, and then it almost got me killed. So there's a slam thing here? Oh, this is just a turret. Quick fire turret. I'll take that over 
Ice grenade. Um, we do burn the ground when we walk, so the damage to burning enemies will actually end up being fairly useful, I think. Oh, yeah. Just, that's, yep. Pretty much what I was going for. Where's the... The boy of the vapors. That was a spawner. As much as I wish that it would not be so. Let's just shred. Come on. You're supposed to be shredding through them, not dying. There we go. Okay. Oh, there is a treasure chest, so this was worth coming to. No, I... Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful parry that missed and almost got me killed. Oh, another heavy turret. What? How did I just discover a secret? Anyways, projectiles burn the damage, uh, burn the floor. I'm gonna take that over this one. Despite the fact that that's the reason I, that other turret had the burning synergy, whatever. Oh, I somehow discovered a secret there. Don't quite know how. Not really sure what's over here, or if it's worth it, but we're gonna mess around with it for a little bit. So there's no scrolls or anything. Confused. Oh, it's just... Wow, okay. What a nice waste of time. I think that's... well, there's this. Check it, see if we can get another scroll, but I don't have much hope of it actually being anything worth it. Ah, it's a shop. Okay. Um, yeah, not really worth it. Woo. Like that, that juke right there? Those moves? Let's just move on to the ossuary. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. So you can slowly climb by just jumping. But I think jumping back and forth, and there's a way to stall out with certain ranged weapons, I think. Where you can kind of just stall your progress moving upwards. And keep jumping. Alright, so we're gonna take... Cooldown delay, I guess. And then move onwards. Maybe the mutations change when you- like, I think when you get boss cells you can choose to put them on in the beginning, and they're basically like hard mode. And you can add all three to make it like, extra hard mode. I guess, hell mode, nightmare mode, I don't know, whatever they would call it. Um, so that's gonna be interesting, we can start doing hard mode runs, once we actually unlock them. Problem is I have to actually go, you know, beat the bosses. Something I'm notoriously uh, not super great at. Yeah, not parryable, as I had surmised at an earlier date. What is- are my slams putting- oh! Dive attacks leave, uh, flammable oil. How nifty. Um, yeah, but about that, uh, how about you just fight these turrets and I kind of sit here and do nothing. Seems cool to me. So, do these turrets getting kills count for my HP? It does. Neat. That's some extra special cheese right there. That's like perfect for me. I can just use the turrets to regain HP if I'm at a low uh, life total. So, once again, I need a boss still. Oh well. I don't think they've added any new areas just yet. Um, I think it still ends at the wharf. Is that what it's called? The wharf? Whenever you get there, after beating the assassin, I believe that's where it still ends. But I would have to actually get that far to note. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, I have not been that far. Because I've only played the one time and then this. Since the update came out. I mean, I don't know, maybe we get to the assassin on this run. 
and we'll figure it out. That'd be pretty good, knock out two boss souls at once. I'm gonna heal, I just realized I was really low. That is a secret. It feels like the secrets are like almost more consistent. Oh, because this is the one that I got last time and then died because I was stupid and tried to do the gift. So as much as I would like to do the gift, I think I'm gonna opt out this time because I wanna fight the incomplete one and get his boss soul. Boss cell, I keep calling them so my goodness. One of these days I'll learn that this is not Dark Souls. I am in fact playing a different game called Dead Cells. In which you collect cells, not souls. Not to be confused, obviously. These long corridors, man. They must have redesigned some of these levels because... I don't remember this stuff existing. Uh, ceiling turret. No thanks. And then there's a rune right on top of my teleporter. This seems to be a thing that happens. Seems to be a thing that happens occasionally, which is very confusing. How am I supposed to enter that? I mean, I guess I can enter it from the side, but... There we go. Why did I clear out those guys? I don't know. I felt like it, I guess. I do need cells to uh, unlock stuff, so I might as well clear out enemies that are... I parried way too early. I might as well clear out easy enemies. There's no real point not to. The cells will make up for it eventually. Oh, so the Hunter's Longbow is a survival weapon now as well. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um... Apparently this thing can do a lot of damage if you put a lot of points into it. Yeah, yeah. I saw that one coming. So I am going to go try and go back for that secret, because it could be like an actual secret. Where it was positioned, it kind of looked like it might have been like an actual secret. It's actually just cake. I thought that might have been like a another key to unlock a thing type secret, you know? Instead, it was not. Assault shield. I really dislike assault shield. And that's a dead end. So where are we going here? We could go up or over there. Hmm. There's a lot of paths, man. I feel like they've made these places bigger. I feel like all the levels are just, like, significantly bigger. Oh, missed my parry again. Probably work on not missing the parry. Oh, I threw both of them at the same time. Neat. I don't know why my game's getting like really framey every time they get hit by that thing. Maybe it's trying to register. I don't know. Maybe it's trying to register like multiple hits on the turrets at a time. That's, I'm actually going to place them over here to stop that from happening because the, that frame dropping is like really obnoxious. There's a scroll of power up here, which is good. I like those. Okay, I want to pick up the scroll of power and not go up. Th them having things stacked like this, it does not seem intentional, but it seems to be happening quite frequently. So maybe it's just, I don't know, something in the coding, or let's not get crushed by the elevator. Let's try to endeavor to not have that happen. Is this the exit? I kind of doubt it. So wait a tonic, huh? Oh, tonic skills with uh, survival instead of brutality. Interesting. Unless they like fundamentally change something about tonic, I don't really like it too much. How close do I have to be to actually power these things? Yeah, how about that? Stupid. 
lightning bolt thing. You jerk. Is this another one of those dead ends that has no payoff? Ouch. Make sure I parry properly. Oh, it has a elevator, so it might have a payoff, I don't know. Down as we go. Where we stop, the developer knows. Let's keep rolling. Oh, wow. That was pretty close, scroll of power. Um, gonna take this again. So it increases our mutation to, well, it actually does increase it by one HP every time we put a point in. It seems to have kind of like a, almost a diminishing return on how much it increases it, which is interesting. Oh, a shop, okay. Um, yeah, your stuff's too good for me. Sure, dog. I'll take your word for it. Give me some melee weapons. Nah. Really hit the whip. Uh, another war spear. Extra damage to a poisoned target. Uh, throws a grenade. I'll take it, just because it does more damage. Um, and that's pretty much the only reason. I'm never really at full HP because I'm not like good enough to be at full HP repeatedly, or all the time, I guess. Maybe if I was better about my parries with the force shield, I'd be able to. So now it will give me plus five HP every time I defeat an enemy. we work on my timing on these guys. That was pretty good. It's hard to tell if there's anything worth getting over here. Kind of let the, those boys take care of it. So, yeah, you, I mean, you can see they have, like, so much more HP than they used to. So there was a scroll of power, so it was worth coming here. Probably still going to take survival. The problem is that, like, if we take tactics, we're going to get so much more HP. But it's not really going to benefit our damage. It is going to... Is that going to... It'll give us more cooldown reduction. I think we're just going to keep pumping survival. So I like that they kind of incentivized not stacking scrolls, but at the same time with the mutations, it almost feels like you still want to stack with scrolls, if that makes any sense. So I don't know. It, it, it seems kind of odd from a design standpoint. It feels almost like they weren't really sure which direction to take it. Whether they wanted you to stack or not. Is this just a pointless dead end? It is. I have a shield too. Jerk. So this is not the exit. So maybe the exit is... This one? This could take me to an elevator that gives me the exit. Or could just drop down. That was... Hey! You... Pumping that thing. Bumping it. So I'm not feeling too confident that this is the exit either. But I will slam down on this guy. Ah, that was... That was late. I don't think that really should have counted. This is just another random dead end, I guess, for cells or something. So where the heck is the exit? Uh, this way? I guess I'll go down first? I feel like down has less chance of being the actual exit. Oh, okay. Well, we are going to get like a decent amount of HP from just killing stuff. And some cells to boot. 
But let's, I really want to get out of Ossuary at this point. I really just want to fight the boss and get the boss cell. So I guess we go this direction. And I don't know. Probably should have worked on parrying that attack. Oh, hey, thanks for the kick, buddy. So here's the gift again. Um, we're going to pass this time. We're going to say no thank you. Christmas is, is a few days old at this point. I think as soon as I'm not on a run where um, I have this pattern, this prolonged healing, I might give that present a shot. Are you kidding me? This isn't the exit. Where the heck is the freaking exit? I'm s I'm actually, like, very confused at this point as to where the exit- I don't need any new skills. Okay, um, let's take a look at the map really quickly. It could be over here- I highly doubt that. So I'm thinking it's gonna be way up here. Cause that's really like the only place- it has to be way up here, right? These areas feel so much bigger now. Which, I mean, you know, credit to the level designer. Here, I have some of those, dude. I'll let them take care of you. Okay, are you kidding me? This isn't the exit? No, it has to be right there. Okay, cool. We found the way out, finally. Get a, a little, little bit of extra cells before we move on to the boss. So these turrets should hopefully not die in a single hit against the incomplete one. Prolonged healing. Healing's flask effect is spread over 15 seconds, but during this period you deal extra damage. That's a mutation, so you have to unlock new muta- Okay, I'm starting to get it. You unlock new mutations. You don't just get them. Which makes sense, that gives you something to spend cells on. I know a lot of people were complaining about cells and having too many of them because they had already 100% of the game. Unlike a certain someone who puts videos on YouTube um, and you're currently listening to talk who is not 100% of this game yet. Still nothing up there. Hello, Incomplete One. I've beaten you quite frequently for some dailies recently. Yep. Oops. Still can't roll that. The fact that I could just like, um, burn the ground that I walk over is really good. In addition to the fact that like, these turrets no longer just die in one hit. And I have an invincibility shield whenever I parry. That doesn't last that long. Oh, is this another mutation or is this the boss cell? Blueprint acquired, melee. So I'm guessing that's another mutation. Where's my boss cell though? What? I'm supposed to get a boss cell, right? Do you need to have 100% completion to get the boss cells? Well, oh, hello. Oh, yes, hi. You've managed to somehow reach this place alive. Oh well, alive, sort of. I'm the blacksmith. Hey buddy, what's up? I work with the collector guy right there. Thumbs up, dude. If you have cells, I can upgrade your stuff. Okay, so here's where you get the upgrade. Uh, bonus to quality level two. So I could put cells into things to upgrade them. Um, or I could put it into unlocking new things. I think I'm gonna go with unlocking new things. So I guess you have to make it past the boss. Okay, so melee mutation gives you about plus 105 damage per second while there are at least two enemies nearby. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna, 
I think for now, I'm honestly going to keep spending on unlocking new items and new, new mutations, probably. And you still have nothing for me, because... So I guess that, okay, that makes sense why you can reset your mutations, then. Um, so we could go Fog Fjord, or we could go Slumbering Sanctuary. I think we're gonna go Fog Fjord so we can get this, um, this hidden thing that's in here, this hidden pattern. Just kind of get that knocked out, hopefully. I don't know why I didn't get the boss cell. I'm, I'm a little confused by that. Maybe it's, you have to beat them a certain amount of times. Because I know the Assassin has patterns for her, um, that require, like, multiple kills. I think it might only be two, so I may actually already have all of them, but there is precedent for that in the game, so. Yeah, I thought you were dead. Hey! I got the wrenching whip without actually having to do the uh, pattern on that guy. Thanks, game. Here, have those, dude. You can have fun with those. Um, I'm gonna stay back here. Oh, they have markers on the outside now. How nice of them. Uh, we're gonna keep take... Oh, man, we're down to 7% HP if we do this. I feel like we're killing things pretty quickly. So we can grab a point in that. Oh. So this is a shop. I, I like that they changed it so it denotes what it is on the outside. That's quite good. Um, I don't really need the shop right now, but thank you for the offer. Or I don't need the food. I guess it would be more accurate to say. Oh, buddy. Not what I meant to do. Uh, sorry if you have epilepsy. Okay. Alright. Yeah, you're dead now. This game tends to get pretty... bright at times. Especially when you're using the... whatchamacallit? The war spear and hitting multiple enemies. Alright, I need to heal. Does it full heal you now? I, I can't really tell if it's intentional to full heal you every time you use it, or if it's just happening to full heal me because I'm at a certain HP. Oh, no. Ah, God damn it. So I'm gonna practice pairing this. Alright, there you go. Proof of concept. It is parryable. Alright, another shop. Maybe you can have weapons? Do I want weapons? So this guy's a jerk now, because I guess the blacksmith went into the actual blacksmithing business and left the thing to this guy. Um, I guess we'll go with melee weapons and see if there's anything worth picking up. I'll give it one more reroll. We got another war spear. Extra damage to frozen targets. Viscera explodes. Um... I think I'll just hold on to my gold, honestly. The fixes on the one that I have presently are not super great, but I don't really care too much about what that guy was selling with those, so. Whoa, okay. All right, what you got for me? Ooh, I do like a good assassin's dagger, but not right now, not for this build. Okay, what's over here? Just another teleporter. You're not dead, okay. All right, so that tells me there's a key in there. I like that because you don't have to like explore all of them anymore. All right, so we're gonna do the secret now. All right, if we can not die to these things. So in case you didn't know, the secret is to basically you take this and you skip the first key slot and there's an additional key slot later on that you use and it has the pattern once again sorry about the very very bright lights so we go back here so we have one village key not two village keys two is what we need but we're at one at the present moment 
I don't think there's anything over there that we need, no. I feel I heard a bat coming after me. But perhaps it's given up. So that's just a treasure chest area, eh? I'll take a treasure, unless it's a curse chest. In which case it can screw right off. Oh, no, 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 And once again, nope. Ooh, I keep messing up my parries. It's going to end up biting me. If I don't get a hold on that. So I don't think I have the pattern from the Samurais just yet. Alright, what you got? Something good? Eh, balance Blade is good, but not what I'm looking for. And then let's leave. Scroll of the Assassin. I think that's Tactics and... Brutality. Yeah. It is. I think we can actually wall climb up to that and avoid fighting these enemies. Yeah. Probably a little bit of a better idea. Um, I think we're gonna take the... Take the tactics for the extra cooldown reduction and the fact that it gives us way more HP. I <sighs> can't really do that climb, huh? Seems like kind of a difficult one. Wow, I got a double parry out of that one. Ooh, a turkey. I can do this all day, dude. You wanna keep playing baseball? Let's go. Batter her up. Come on. So all that there is up here is a turkey and a teleport. I'll take the turkey now. I guess. Might as well. Alright, so here's where the first key is. So what you do is you use... Actually, I don't... How do you do this? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a... You use this to... Go around it. Do little jumpy puzzles. Take some damage because YOLO. And then look, you're on the other side without using your key. So that will come in handy later. Let's try the outside. Oof, that F jump is possible. Nice. So now we just need to find the other key and get the heck out of here. Honestly. Don't see any key down there. Watch out for these spawny boys. A lot of teleporting enemies in here. I'm like not even using my turrets for some reason. I don't honestly know why. So that's a shop, huh? Okay. Probably going to go with uh, survival just for the damage. I'm actually running low on um, health potions, I hadn't realized. Why do you keep saying your stuff is too good for me? Can you just like actually screw off with that? Take turrets. You got a heavy turret that I like, I'll take it. Okay, projectiles burn the ground. Got a lot of burning projectiles, apparently. Uh, the, the, da the damage difference is kind of negligible, apparently. I don't know why I did that. Don't, don't ask me. I don't know. Seemed like the right thing at the time. Probably shouldn't have just ate that, you know? So there's my key door.
I'll just let those guys do their thing and die. Okay, yeah. Hi, Leech. I know. You're, you're a really important person. But I have my- this is- wait, was this the key door? I could have sworn this was the key door. What? No, I'm not using my key just yet. Because I don't believe that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Sorry, the key door is above me. I missed it somehow. Oh, probably because there's a solid wall right there? Ow. I forgot that that thing does in fact return to him. And I keep forgetting that fact and getting hit by that pretty consistently. Alright, probably should take a little less damage in the future if I plan on actually doing anything in this game worthwhile. I, why are you teleporting to me already? I didn't even add- Okay. First off, stop. Second off, what the heck? Okay, so we have both keys now. So we're gonna continue forward. I thought I had invincibility, watch for it coming back. These guys are so obnoxious. Mostly just because they teleport, honestly. The only reason I dislike them is the teleporting. If they didn't teleport, I'd be completely fine with them. Alright, give me a scroll. Let's keep taking survival. We get so little HP from it, but... I still think it's worth it. Alright, so hopefully we can actually find this freaking exit. Okay, here we go. So I don't actually remember how you do this part, to be honest with you. Um... There we go. You do that. Okay. So there you go. You've unlocked the secret area. You use the key. You pick up counter shield. Uh, this does kind of force us to go to clock tower, I think, because the other one requires the key. Am I correct in that assumption? Going to subculture, sepulchre. You know what I'm talking, trying to say. Requires key. So that's pretty good. Um. We're starting to get fairly consistent at being able to, like, kind of run through these runs. So we got Wrenching Whip and Counter Shield. I think Counter Shield's really good. Yeah, it can only parry. Uh, it can't... You can't hold it up. Not that I'm holding it up at all anyways, so... Um... Just gonna keep... We're gonna unlock Explosive Crossbow. And then probably start putting things into new mutations? Maybe we want... I think we want Melee. So let's see what this bo bad boy looks like. Wait. Fires an arrow behind you. Okay, so it just fires. And then if it hits, it does extra damage, I believe. Is what it looks like. Yeah, direct hit deals a critical blow. Okay. We'll get rid of that for now. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, sir. How are you? I already have my max number of those so it doesn't really matter i'll just keep lighting the floor on fire behind me so the clock tower one is an interesting puzzle and i'm gonna have to clear the entirety of the clock tower to be able to do it secrets in the floor always nice cycle that and these have a different um sound associated with them now the little metal things 
really hard to hear, but there is a new sound for them, so there you go. So, okay, the puzzle is these bells right here. I have to hit in a certain order. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. You have to hit them from, like, lowest tone to highest tone, I think. That one sounded pretty low. Maybe it's highest to lowest? I can't remember. And then you'll get that shield. And that shield apparently is one of the best shields in the game. Uh, it's like the blood shield where when you parry it does like a bunch of damage. But instead it... Um, well, well the blood shield makes it so it... Like increases the... Or spreads the bleed to everyone. But apparently that one just does damage to every enemy. In an area. So we're going to need to get through here without dying. And then probably want to kill like every enemy, if we're being honest here. Uh, I don't have a pattern from those guys. I've never gotten a rare pattern from them. All right, I want to get the teleporter from over here so I can get back here faster. And I guess I might as well do it for now. That guy fell down. I'm so torn up about it for him. So these turrets are putting in work because they got buffed. And I actually know the patterns of most of these enemies now, so... That also helps out significantly, I would say. Whoa, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to move our turrets at a moment here. Jeez. Because otherwise it's going to lag the game out really badly again. That's definitely a bug I'm going to need to report or something. Assuming someone hasn't already reported it. That frame drop is insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> screw off, buddy. Not even gonna bother with you. So I'm getting a little bit better about these guys. The problem is that in, um, where's the area I was having trouble with them? Sepul forgotten area that I can't pronounce. Um, in there they spawn like five at a time. And it's really difficult to deal with them. Um, do I honestly need much of anything from this guy? I don't really feel like I do. Like, sure, I guess I could look for a better weapon. But I don't know if I'm going to find it. I mean, if I didn't find it there, I doubt I'm going to find it at all. I'll give it one more roll. Extra damage to a burning target could actually come in handy. I'm going to pass for now, though. I kind of want to have gold for the next run. I don't know why that guy has a mark above his head. Oh, because he drops a scroll. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna take the extra damage because we're coming up on the boss that we definitely want to kill before she kills us. Where's the bell here? Did I miss the bell? Shut up. Maybe the bell's at the bottom here? I don't really know how that worked, but you know, okay. I'll admit fault for that, because I am not paying enough attention to where these traps are. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a bell up there, but I didn't see one, so I guess we'll go check later if we don't realize where all the other bells are. I believe there's four bells. I could be wrong, once again. I've never done this secret before, but I'm pretty sure there's four bells. Um... I guess we'll just take this for the cooldown reduction. Oh, I didn't get my parry off properly. That's bad. Whoop. No 
a bell over here. No bell over here. This is such an expansive area. Don't worry about the the length is it's getting up there, but don't worry. I mean, eventually I'll start getting a little bit better at these places and be able to do them with some consistency and quickness. Also, I won't be looking for secrets. All right, so I would need a boss cell. I would need two boss cells. I would need throw up three boss cells. There is an elite up here, which I believe is a guaranteed pattern, but still. Uh, I would really prefer to not be fighting an elite right now. No, it doesn't guarantee a pattern, it guarantees this thing. All damage taken, minus 20. Really good. I'm gonna stop burning the ground. Does that matter though? No. Oh, sweet secret. Hey, would you just please leave me alone, Mr. Archer? Oh, I'm really low. Whoops. Yeah, I forgot that you attacked multiple times. Whoops. Alright, where's a bell? Come on. <laughs> wow, 25 cells? That's. I really hope I don't die now. Yeah. That was bad damage. Where are these bells at? Why do I feel like I'm not finding any of them? Am I just mistaken? And I have seen them and I'm just actually blind? Okay. Gotta stop taking damage from those things, man. That's just really dumb damage. I missed a scroll down here, apparently. Gotta watch out for the traps. Okay. Scroll power. It's giving me barely any HP, but it's giving me a lot of damage, so. I still haven't found a second bell, I don't believe. But as I've said, that could just be my blindness. I'm fairly certain there's four of them. I think at the present moment, I'm more concerned with being able to defeat the assassin than unlock this secret. Um, in all honesty, I'd, I'd much rather prefer to just beat the game. Okay, we're gonna have to replace those again, because that is really obnoxious. Why do you keep saying your stuff is too good for me, dude? Okay, here's the second one. How, loud, how high pitch is this one? It's pretty high. Oh, okay. Well, I jumped right through a spike, but I avoided taking damage from the bomb. Oh no, not this again. See, they can actually tank enemies now, which is nice. I look an actual chest, not a curse chest. Horizontal to- I'm sorry, quick fire turret. Um... I think I'll take it over this turret. Just because it pierces, and it fires much faster than the other one. So there's another teleporter. So there's a bell up here. There's a bell down there. I need two more bells? Or is there only three bells? I, I honestly don't remember. All 
Either way, we're, we're clearing through this. We're not just like wasting our time trying to find the secret. Okay, stop doing that. I'm gonna need to heal here. As much as I really don't want to. It's kind of required at this point. Um, Man. 12% HP gives me a little bit of a buffer. But I do kind of just want more damage. Okay, you do- I, I was wondering if he was going to teleport for me or not. That's why I, I was just kind of stalled out at the moment. Wow. That was some pretty solidly bad damage. Wow, I actually can't read this guy very well. I need to work on being able to read with that guy's movements. Because he seems very erratic. I assume this is probably the boss fight? Nope. Oh boy. Oh goodness gracious, what am I doing? This guy, these guys, when they're by themselves, I have no troubles with them. It's when there's multiples of them that I start to run into issues. So I'm gonna lock this, which is the boss. Okay, let's go back down then. Um, we've unlocked everything, right? Like, where are the bells? <laughs> Let's just... Oh, man. Honestly, this is why I hate this area, because of all these traps. It's hard to just, like, do what I'm trying to do, which is just traverse without having to deal with all this trap nonsense that can kill me. I think I've killed everything in this area, but I can still die because of traps. And my, you know, stupidity when it comes to movement. Like that. Um, okay, so we found one bell. The heck are these other bells? There was one up here, right? I almost distinctly remember there being one up here. Or was there not? Was it just these doors? I'm starting to have a feeling that there's no bell up here. There's no bell up here. Okay, so we've at least eliminated this tower from contention. Let's go back down to the bottom. Was there a bell down here? There's a bell down here, okay. And that's the lowest tone. So I think that's where we end. So that's where we're going to end. So let's check this one. And that was a pretty low, like, home. There's this one. Oh my goodness. Uh, that sounds extremely high. That's probably the highest pitch one. Okay, so we have the high pitch one. We need the middle pitches then. Where are the other bells? Shut up. Cursed chest. Something gets from highest pitch to lowest pitch. It's not gonna be in the shop, that's for sure. Uh, we can try our hand at a reroll here. I'll sword, but I think I'm gonna pass. And then this one. 
this one should be the last one. Thank goodness, finally I got it. Holy crap. So apparently it's based on how audible they are. Not based on how, like what the pitch is. It's how audible they are. So how much you can hear them. So that's what it is. Finally though, get freaking punishment. My goodness gracious, that took way too long. It's probably been edited out of this video, but that took me a lot longer than it should have. Also, I got hit by that spike thing, like, a whole lot on my way back, so. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, thankfully, we're finally done with that. We have unlocked pun- well, we've gotten the pattern for punishment. Deals damage to all nearby enemies when you block and attack. Deals critical damage when you parry. There you go. Pretty good stuff, right? Um, I think we're actually going to unlock- well, let's put our points into melee. And then we'll start putting points into punishment. And neither of those actually matter for this final boss. Also, let me turn the, the music back on. Just realized that the music was off. Alright, and then let's go fight the final boss. Goodness gracious, that took way too long. Anyways, onwards, let's fight. Our boy, or girl, I'm not sure, the gender, the assassin. Now let's hope that we can actually remember what we're doing. Based on the model, I'm going to say female. I did not want to get hit by that. Okay, so thankfully she's pretty much dead. And we get a nice big flash of light. This boss feels significantly easier than the others. Maybe it's just because I know her pattern pretty well. Um, and I have these turrets to carry me. That could be it. Or it could be that I'm an actual golden god at this game. Okay, so we did get the boss cell, which is interesting. Um, because we didn't get one from the incomplete one. But anyways, there you go. Surgical extraction achievement unlocked, and we got velocity. So let's move on to the wharf then, and I guess finish up this run. Hello, sir. How are you? Yes, so we can upgrade our weapons. Um, I think for now I'm going to hold off on this. Um, I'm going to hold off on actually doing that until I can actually unlock all of the things. What does Velocity do? Speed bonus from killing enemies, multiple enemies in a row lasts two times longer. Okay, I'll keep putting points into punishment. So there you go. That's that taken care of. And now we're on to uh, the end of the game, I guess. So thank you for watching. If you like this video and this series, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment with, um, I think that was pretty much the two last hidden things that I had to go through, but if there's any other super hidden secret things that are like extremely hard to find, feel free to enlighten me. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'm planning on trying to beat this game. Obviously they keep adding content faster than I can actually beat it, so that might be a little bit difficult, but, uh, I'm trying to 100% the game. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.